All right, let me get some of this stuff out of the way here. As you can see, I haven't done any work on the 47s, and that's because uh, I was in Texas for my birthday. Hanging out with some friends in San Antonio. And uh, just uh, BSing and drinking some booze. All right, so... I have me here a package from Hannitz, as you can see, and we're going to see what's in here. So what I'm going to do is, first thing I'm going to tell you, I ordered this on uh, April 1st, and I'll open this over here, let me get a knife. So I ordered this on April 1st. Um, they shipped it on April 5th. I received it on April 14th. Um, that is about par for the course for Hannitz. Um, that has been my experience with them so far. So that's good. Um, I have no complaints there. I'm not one of these guys that has to have the stuff in two days. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I don't know, you know. It's, it's, well, I'm not going to get into that. It's, it's just, you know, it's kind of silly in my head that I guess if you're a, um, a commission builder and you're on a schedule, that's one thing. But if you're just a hobbyist like most of us, you know, you and you can't, you know, be down or whatever, then I, I would say, you know, your options are plan better or chill. <laughs> right? It's not like it's your car and you need it to go to work or something. Anyway, um, so let's see, see what we got here, and then we'll look at everything. So, I, what I ordered. I remember what I ordered. I ordered some decals and I ordered some cockpit sets. Okay. Now, as you can see, this is a nice thick brown paper envelope and they put a cardboard stiffener in it. So bravo to that. Um, I spent, I don't remember how much I spent. It was fairly reasonable. The shipping was only, it was less than $8 um, from the UK to the US. So, um, so the main thing I wanted to get was this. Yanks with Roundels, part four, P47D Thunderbolt and RAF Southeast Asian servers. Um, extra decal, 48 scale, so it's the right scale. And, um, you know, I don't know if I've used these before or not, but, um, let's open them up and see what, see what they're like here. Those... Those look really good. Um, I don't know if you can see the film, but there isn't much. So yeah, that looks good. I like that. I'm happy with that. And these are... So here's the cover sheet that gives you um, their paint line, instructions on how to use them, specifies Microsol and Microset, and then here are the um, placement guides for the different aircraft, and there are 
Okay, so these are the profile views. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight aircraft on this sheet. Okay, I think I paid like fifteen dollars for the sheet, maybe less. It wasn't wasn't that bad. <clears throat> um, oh, no, nine, ten. 11, 12, there's 12 options. And then here are the top side. Um, picks. So I'm looking at this and right now I'm seeing a bunch of these that I wanna do, like these dash 30s down here. I like both of these. I like the blue. There's blue on this one here also. Um, Wow. Sorry, I'm just kind of I'm I'm just kind of taking this all in because I really I really like these schemes. They look great. They look really good on the Thunderbolt. Okay, so I am going to be doing obviously one of these camoed versions. I'm probably Oh, let's see. 22. And the 28. That one's pretty neat. 28. So I can go. So with what I got right now, I can do any one of these three. These two. And this one, this one here. Um, so we'll have to take a look at them and, and figure out what we want to do. I, I need to paint. I'm obviously going to have to paint some white um, that I haven't done yet. But other than that, it looks like um, I'm done with the paint on that thing other than the white. As far as the natural metal one that I have here, these are all... Dash 30, dash 30. These are all dash 30s. So in order to do this, any one of these aircraft, I would need to do a... Basically, I have to take and build them out of the M kits that I have. I've got four M kits left in the stash. Um, and I just might do that. We'll see. And if I'm going to do that, maybe I take this natural metal dash 28 that I got here and do it up in a something else, some other thing. But yeah, these decals look pretty good. These these look good. These look good. Happy with that. Like I said, I I, I think they were actually sub fifteen dollars. They weren't that much. Um, coolness, coolness, coolness. That's extra decal sheet X four eight one one five. We'll set that over here. This is A10 stuff. Um, print scale. A10 Thunderbolt 2. This is for A10As. Not the current C models. Um, because I'm just that kind of guy. Uh, the reason I have this is I have um, a monogram A10 kit. And I have the old Tamiya A10 kit. And if I can get these suckers out of here. Uh, um, well, that's interesting. So it's on a blue back paper, which is interesting. Again, this is these are something that I have not used. Um, this has got some interesting schemes on it. I'm I've always liked the jaw schemes. Um so there's that. This I find very interesting. There's an F-16, early F-16 scheme that is very similar to this that I like also. And there's the, the European 1 um, schemes. Um, and there's, oh man, what do we got here? 
there are nine options on this sheet. And that's a little sheet. I mean, that's not that big. Um, looking at these, they are glossy and they are, they're definitely thicker than those extra decals, but I mean, they're not. Man, they're pretty thick. We'll see what happens. They don't look too bad. Um, interesting, they got the tip stripes in here too. <laughs> A deadhead. So we'll have to check and, and so I have to go through and decide what I'm going to do, but I definitely want to do one of these jaw schemes. Um, and then we'll have to go on from there on the second one. I, I, I really like this. I really like this, this test camouflage here. And that's from 95. That's, you know, fairly recent. I don't think people, most people realize the A-10, what, first flight was like 70, 75 or something? 74, 75, I don't remember. Something like that. Anyway. All right, see if we can get this back in here. It's like, man, can you make this bag any tighter? That's a tight fit. <laughs> So yeah, those will be fun. Um, picking, picking one of those schemes. Boy, that's that's complicated, but man, there were four different jaws schemes. They're all basically the same, except they were different colors. And honestly, I would not mind doing the whole, doing all four of them one of these days, but that's not going to happen. Uh, I mean, I just had my birthday. I'm running out of time. All right. And lastly, what I got is I got two of the, these are both the same, but this is an A10A cockpit. It's a Kits World 3D printed A10A Warthog cockpit for Ravel Tamiya monogram cockpit panels. All right. So I figure, hey, it should cover them all, right? And I'm going to pull this. Now, this this may not even, you know, I mean, the kits aren't, the Tamiya kit is closest to like a prototype, like a Jaws kit. Um, and that's fine. But um, come on out. I want to see what this looks like. I don't have any magnification on, on me at the moment. But from what I can tell, that's not bad. That looks pretty good. The lighting isn't great right here. It's definitely 3D. You can definitely feel it. Um, I don't know who's actually printing these, but I think this was like five or six dollars or something. It wasn't much. It was very reasonable. Um, so, so I got one for each kit and we'll try them out and see how, see what it's, see what it's like. But, uh. Looks nice. It looks nice. It looks nice. So we'll throw that back in the package and we'll seal it back up and we'll set that over here. All right. So there you have it. That's the latest thing I got. Um, really, the I, I the main the main reason for this video is you know don't be afraid to order stuff. From out of from outside the U.S. for for 
for my U.S. Uh, U.S. friends here, um, I know a lot of you are really paranoid about going outside of the borders to get things. Um, but the truth of the matter is, is almost everything that we buy comes from somewhere else. And so ordering it direct yourself shouldn't really be a big deal. Um, Hannett's is always good. And they have lots of, they got a lot of stuff. And they have out of production stuff and they have secondhand stuff. And, and as you can see, um, they package things well. Um, the shipping is reasonable. You know, they're just, they're just a good outfit. Um, and they're no, they're not paying me to say this. They don't even know who I am. I'm sure. <laughs> and that's fine. Um, but just as a, as a, uh, don't be afraid to order from from established established places, no matter where they are, is, is what I'm saying. Now, if you're one of those people that has to have it yesterday, that that'll be an issue for you. It's not for me. So, like I said, I don't care. I got plenty of time. Um, but again, there you go. So we'll cut it there on this one. As usual, take care of the people you love. And we'll see you next time. Bye.